what's up guys it's Leia welcome back to my channel I never thought I would say that because I didn't think I was gonna make a second video but Alphalete was doing another launch and I figured why not I'm gonna buy the stuff anyway because I'm such a super fan so why not practice my video editing skills some more and make a video so here we are so whether you're here to get a review or just to see my hot body <laughs> welcome and thanks for supporting me i can't wait to show you guys these pieces also i just had to redo this whole clip because i watched it back and realized that my lip gloss was askew above my lip and it looked terrible so take two success one other thing i was gonna tell you is that while I am a ride or die Alphalete fan, I've been cheating on Alphalete lately with a couple of brands that I'm also loving that I'm maybe gonna do some more reviews of. So I put um, a couple things from Inaka Power in this video, and then um, I'm actually wearing a lot of Dark Sport Wolves Forever, Wolves Club, whatever. Dark Sport is the name of the brand. I've been wearing a lot of their stuff lately too and I really love it so that's what this hoodie is um this bra which I haven't even taken the tags off because I just got it maybe I'll try it on in another video I got another one of these tiger bras that's just like a black and orange combo super cool and then these shorts as well I'm super bummed I wanted the uh the legging shorts to go with that bra but they were sold out in like five minutes so I got these sweat shorts instead these I will say are way too short, but they're still, they're still cute. I can't, I can't even pause too long on that. But yeah, anyway, so if you want to see a review of more of these items, I'll be happy to buy more of their stuff. Okay, so let's get into the try on now. First up, we have the Alphalix Wonder Bra and the Varsity Skirt. Okay, so the top first. This one I had, I had heard mixed reviews and I decided to try it anyway. Um, and I'm glad I did. I like it. It makes this look good, obviously, because I don't have anything here. Um, I love this color. So you can see it kind of has like a subtle tie dye to it. This is the hazelnut color. Um, and the back is like a tea strap. So my one complaint, which is the same complaint that I have heard from everyone who's tried this one, is the straps. I just don't understand why they made them like this. So if you can see, the back strap is adjustable, which there is really no point to because it's these top ones that dig in at the top. And see that little ring up at the top? Maybe you can't because my necklace is, but that little ring digs in right there. It's probably already red underneath it. So, you know, it bugs me when I first put it on. I've already worn it to the gym and it was great. Um, it bugged me a little bit and then I stopped thinking about it. So I'll definitely still wear this one. Um, I feel like it's really flattering. I like the long line style. So yeah. And paired with this, we've got the Varsity skirt. And tennis skirts are kind of in right now. I haven't jumped on the bandwagon yet, but I think I'm feeling it. Um, so this one, they kind of match the colors to go but not be quite matchy-matchy, which I like. I like that look. This skirt is, I think, gonna be my go-to when I wanna look strong and fit, but also still a little bit feminine. Um, so it has shorts underneath it, which ride up pretty bad. Um, so it's a good thing it has this layer over the top. So this was my first skirt from Alphalete, and I bought it having watched some reviews that said, oh my gosh, they finally made a skirt that's long enough to cover my butt. Um, and mm, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I guess it barely, barely covers, but if you bend over at all, you're going to see the shorts. So if that bothers you, just be aware of that. I would only wear this on arm day personally, um, even though it's a shame because you could get a nice quad pump in this. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to flex my quads though. <laughs> I would not want to wear it for doing squats or RDLs or anything like that. I wore it for arm day and I even felt uncomfortable doing bent over rows because I just felt like everyone can see everything, which you kind of can. So just 
just be aware of that. And the shorts underneath it are not flattering at all. They look awful on my butt. So I'm not gonna show you that, but yeah, overall, I think it's a cute outfit, right? Do we like it? Let me know. Now we have the Alpalux Asymmetrical Bra and the Alpalux Wonder Shorts. This was one of my favorite bras that launched, when was that, a year ago-ish? Um, and I made some improvements to it. I was so looking forward to this one. Um, I'll just show you really quick some of the changes they made. So still the same one shoulder with keyhole, um, but it's no longer a long line style. See how this is a little bit longer than this one? It's a traditional bra now. I think they said one of the other changes they made is they lowered the armhole. I don't know which side on, but I do feel like overall it cuts in less on my armpit boob fat. So that's good. It's super comfy. I got a small in this one because they were out of extra small. I found that the extra smalls fit me better in this just because I'm a little smaller chested. Um, but I haven't, I haven't worn this one to the gym yet. I think it's going to be okay, except for maybe a little bit of gaping if I'm doing arm movements, but I don't think it'll be too big of a problem. Um, the back is the same. It's just got a um, rubberized logo that is tonal. So it blends in. It's really um, inconspicuous. Conspic inconspicuous. <laughs> yes. For some reason, that's embarrassing to admit. I always get that word mixed up. Anyway, yes, it's very inconspicuous if you don't want to blast the name of the brand of the clothes that you're wearing everywhere you go. So let's vote. Does it look better on the shoulder that has the strap or the other one? I think it's this one. And these are the Alpha Lux Wonder shorts. These are six inches. I know they don't look like it right now because I kind of have them pulled up, but they go down pretty long. I just like pulling them up into my um, hip flexors, I guess. <laughs> just, it's, I don't know, it's a little more comfortable. Um, and I'm also, I'm not wearing underwear, so you can see what it looks like without panty lines. I only go commando some of the time. Depends on the leggings. These ones though, I have found that the crotch gusset is a little annoying. They moved it back in these compared to the last leggings, at least from what I heard. And it doesn't seem to like get wedged up in there as much, but um, you know, it still happens, not gonna lie. So um, I like the length of these a lot. Uh, the back just has like a V shape that kind of contours the glutes and then um, yeah, you can kind of situate these with the seam up your crack, however little or not that you like. So they did improve the waistband, I think, uh, at least on me. The last ones, I didn't have the shorts, but if the leggings were the same, the last ones kept folding over and rolling down a lot, and I don't find them doing that as much, which is great, um, at least on the leggings. I'm sorry, I am leading you astray, possibly, because I haven't worn these shorts to the gym yet. I just got them a few days ago. So one other thing about these, I, again, haven't worn them yet, but just from the way I can kind of see my hand through it, I'm pretty sure they're not squat proof, but I don't know. Um, that was a terrible squat. Um, I'm not sure, but if in doubt, just go commando and you won't be able to tell, most likely. There are some exceptions to that, such as um, Alpha Elite's yellow lemonade amplified legging, which was awful. Okay, I love almost all of their clothing except for those. Were so thin, you could see everything, regardless of whether you were wearing a thong or panties or going commando. Even if it was nude underwear, you could still see all of it. It was ridiculous. Yeah, these are bad. I tried a thong on and you could definitely see my butt crack, like the darker shadow. Oh, there we go. See? <laughs> it's a no-go. <laughs> Woo! That got a little, got me a little dizzy. Okay. So, this is a different color and the leggings version of those shorts I was just showing. So, the top. Um, this is an extra small. So, you probably can't tell the difference between this one and the small I was wearing. 
maybe. I don't know if it looks smaller, but it's just a little bit tighter and feels a little bit more like it's holding everything in and it's not gonna slide down. So, and it doesn't gape as much. So that's the main difference. Um, I think either size really is gonna be fine for me though. So I realized I haven't been doing a very good job of going over details for someone who's never worn these before. I've just basically been saying, here it is. <laughs> but okay, so these leggings. Uh, this is the color denim blue. They have a little bit of tie-dye look, very subtle though, and it, the pattern is different on every piece. So if you buy some, they won't necessarily look like this. Uh, this material is brushed. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Oh, um, so it's brushed inside and outside, which just means that it's, it's sort of like a Lululemon Align type feel. It's very soft, so comfortable. Um, thinner than the Amplify, I would say. Well, thinner than the original Amplify. Some of the colors they've been coming out with lately are pretty, pretty darn thin, which I'm not a fan of. And if you didn't already know that, go watch my last video. Uh, so they have seams or surging, I guess, maybe, down the thighs all the way to the bottom, and then a um, surged bottom edge as well. These are 30 inch inseam, which I love that they're making more 30 inches because your girl is tall. Uh, they also came out with a 27 inch version though. And unfortunately the 30 inches didn't have all the color options. So that's sad, but I wanted this color anyway. So it worked out for me. Then the back is the same as the shorts. It's just got the glute seam that contours a little bit and then a seam down the crack. And one thing I forgot to mention about these Sadly, at least on me, they are not very cellulite friendly, which makes me sad. Okay, I'll stand unposed, even though it makes me really self-conscious, so you can see my cellulite. I'm assuming you can see it. Um, yeah, so it's not always there, and I like to hide it by posing and all these things, but reality is, is I have a lot of it, and you know what? Everybody does. It doesn't matter. Who cares? And I'm becoming more comfortable with that. And I have to keep saying it out loud so that I do more and more. Because even when I wear shorts and you can see it on the back of your thighs or your butt, you know, the reality is, is that you're the only one noticing it on yourself and nobody else gives a flip. <laughs> Excuse my language about it. So don't worry about it. Just wear the shorts. As um, I follow this girl on Instagram, you should follow her because she has really added joy to my life, and I'm not just saying that. Her family is adorable. I don't even know why I'm talking about her right now in this video, but if you want someone that is just a joy to follow and only gives you content that makes you feel good about yourself, you should go follow her. Aubrey. Um, wait, is that her name? I'm filming with my phone, so I can't look it up right now, but I'll put it on the screen. She, I promise you won't regret following her. Um, she always says, wear the shorts. And it's a motto that I've been trying to live by too. So yeah, you should as well. Also, I just ate a huge cinnamon roll. So can you just please ignore this? <laughs> this helped hold it in, but some of it escapes underneath. <laughs> this is the top from my last video that I was saying I wish I had bought more of and they restocked it in some other colors. So I was super pumped about that. This is the Surface Altitude bra, I believe is the name of it. Uh, and I just got black because it goes with everything. It's got a square neck. If they say it's a square neck, it kind of looks like a scoop neck, but square neck. It's the surface material, which is also um, a brushed inside and out material. It's maybe just a little thicker than Alpha Lux is. That's the only way I can think to describe it. Um, the back is a cross back this extra strap on the bottom and it's really comfy um, I get compliments that my chest looks good in this one because it flatters it for a small chested lady so yeah and it oh I forgot to mention it also has the where is it yeah the rubberized logo right here but it's in black um, and the other colors have formal logos so again it's very inconspicuous I used the word right that time 
<laughs> uh, and then if you're curious, these are just the Amplify shorts. I don't think I showed this color in my last video, but they were from, from the last launch. So, ooh, shouldn't do that probably. <laughs> Bonus. So I thought I would show you this. Uh, this is not Alphalete. This is Anaka Power and totally different gym vibe than the other outfits that I've been showing. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit bipolar lately with my gym style. Some days I like to be the cute, flirty, like kind of girly, super confident gym girl in those tight little matching sets and skirts and all that. And some days you just want to put a loose t-shirt and some shorts on and throw your headphones on and not talk to anyone. And that is where this outfit comes in. I've been buying more and more big t-shirts like this, which I love. I love this matching set and I love these shorts. So they're like, they're basketball shorts. Um, they got drawstring here, elastic waist. Um, they have a lining. They didn't used to actually. And now they do, which is nice because before it was just the basketball short and without the lining and you could see through the little holes. So, um, yeah, it's got the gorilla Anaka's logo. I usually just like to tuck the shirt in in the back so you still get a little booty action. But yeah, sorry about my messy room too. Um, yeah, and I feel like my quads look good in these. Yeah, look at that. Quad mommy. That's what I'm going for. Muscle mommy, quad mommy. Quad mommy, not mummy. <laughs> quad mommy and muscle mommy. I think that's what the kids are calling it these days. One more bonus, also in the color purple. This, now this is just, this video is just a free for all. This is from Halara. I had never tried it before, but my sister had a discount code. So I tried one of their tops and I just threw on this skirt from them too, even though this isn't a workout skirt, just so you can see the fit. Um, I'm a fan of this top. It's ribbed material, double lined, super stretchy, really thick. It's nice. And the straps, they're very thin, but they feel sturdy. Um, they don't feel like they're going to snap. I do like the back of it. It's got a little four strap action going on. I feel like it's pretty, pretty uh, flattering up here. Okay. And then this skirt, like I said, not for working out. It's just a going out and about skirt. It's got cute little side ties that you can Used to make it shorter or longer. This is probably a little too short for me. Um, very comfortable. It's made out of that slick, quick dry swimsuit material. Maybe it's meant for maybe a swimsuit cover up. I don't think it is, but that's what it feels like. Um, and it does have built in shorts. So that's nice. Always love that for skirts. And when I say shorts, they're really more like underwear. They're very, very short, but I'll take what I can get. It's better than nothing. So. Yeah, there's another little fit for you. Um, you know, since I'm still buying summer outfits, even though it's fall and about to be winter. So that is it for the last launch. And thank you for watching. Uh, I didn't get as much this time, obviously. I realized after I shot that last video that I probably should have broken it up into parts <laughs> by collection so that I had more videos to post because it was actually kind of fun. And I think I might want to keep it up regardless of the fact that I said I probably wasn't going to keep it up in my last video. So let me know since I'm now uh, caught up with everything Alphalete that I own, if there is anything else that you want to see a review of. Thank you for watching and supporting me. And I really appreciate it if you've liked or subscribed or commented or whatever. Because I don't know where I'm going with this, but maybe someday I could get sponsored by Alphalete. So I could get all their clothes for free. So if you want to help me out with that. Yeah. So peace.